Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you how to make a beautiful, I was gonna say winter salad but I leave it as a warm salad and if I should give it a name that would be lamb's lettuce, goat cheese and black pudding salad. And you are probably thinking by the sound of this title that I just gave it that that's quite an odd combination of flavors for a salad and Actually, it's quite an innovation I've created myself, but I think it works wonders. And I'm using one of my all-time favorite ingredients, which is Morcilla de Burgos. That is the city where my mom comes from. And this Morcilla, what's particular about it, is that it's made with rice. And as you can imagine, I've eaten a few of them over the years. Let me introduce you to the ingredients and you will see the end result. And one of the good things about this salad is how easy it is to make with just a handful of ingredients, as you can see. But let's start. We're gonna need lamb's lettuce, fresh raspberries, some pine nuts, a log of goat cheese, a Spanish morcilla de burgos, or a black pudding made with rice, which is very mild in flavor, honey, salt, pepper, sherry vinegar, and a good extra virgin olive oil. We're going to start by removing the outer rind of the end of the log of goat cheese and cutting a thick one centimeter slice. Cut the Spanish morcilla in about two centimeter thick slices, and if it like mine, it has a little metal string that holds the sausage together, remove it as it's obviously not edible. Now let's start with a little cooking that is involved in this recipe. Place a frying pan over medium heat, add the pine nuts and toss them for about a minute and a half until they are nicely golden on all sides. You can use other nuts as well, they will work really well on this salad. And now using the same frying pan, as I don't like to mess around too much, and because it's a small amount as well, we're gonna be cooking the following two ingredients. So pour a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to fry the black pudding for about two minutes on each side, and the goat cheese only for two minutes on one of the sides. And take a look at what we've done in just five minutes. I have the raspberries in here with the toasted pine nuts and the lamb's lettuce. I'm just going to put the black pudding over the top and I'm going to do exactly the same with my hot and melty goat cheese. Be careful, you can really burn yourself with this one. It's incredibly, ooh, take a look, incredibly hot. As you know, it's like bechamel or caramel. That will be a bad burn. And let me just finish up with the vinaigrette. I'm going to put in a jar a little bit of the sherry vinegar, a pinch of salt, a bit of honey, not too much, but the sweetness makes it quite good, a bit of pepper, which actually I just put it on the salad, and a bit of Spanish extra virgin olive oil. As with any salad, all of these nice ingredients make all the difference. In this case, it's a four-year-age sherry vinegar, a good arbequina, extra virgin olive oil, and you'll see that at the end, those sort of better ingredients pay off. And now, all is left is just to put a bit of this very simple vinaigrette, which I'm going to drizzle over the top. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If that's the case, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for my favorite Spanish ingredients or other recipes, please go to thespanishchef.com. See you on my next video.